Hi Pisces, this is going to be your timeless energy read for your twin soul journey for February. So as you know, all of my readings are timeless and whenever you find the reading, it's for you. If you'd like to book a reading with me, all of my readings are half off until March for the season of love. You are the last sign I'm reading for since you are the last sign of the zodiac. I started with Aries. Today is the day before Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, my beautiful Pisces, my beautiful, beautiful water signs. Let's tap in and see what we got. I've already cleared your space with my bell. Let's get started. Okay, Pisces, we're back. I turned the, I turned the other light on <clears throat> so you can see better. All right. Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Bodhi Tarot, just like I've done with every sign. We're reading now for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about their twin soul journey? I have the worst heartburn. It's been a long day. <laughs> Pisces. Whoa. One more, please. A soul contract has been fulfilled. You've learned important lessons. You will now attract healthy relationships into your life. So when we come into this lifetime, we often will come in to this life with soul contracts that states we have to do certain things, we have to learn certain lessons in love, and we often will learn these lessons with people that we choose to learn the lessons with in our lifetime. And we all go over these contracts before we actually come into this life and are reincarnated. So nothing really happens to us, right? This is all stuff that we sign up to do, okay? And so that being said, it said that you fulfilled one of your soul contracts and you've learned the important lesson. So that means you will now be attracting healthy relationships into your life. So you obviously had a soul contract with someone that it may not have been pleasant. You had to learn a very important lesson in love. Usually this will be some sort of heartbreak, but you did well and it was just, three three on my camera so because of that lesson now you're going to attract probably your twin soul okay because if you're watching me then you are a twin soul i am a twin soul reader so do not doubt if you found me you are definitely a twin soul i'm trying to get rid of this freaking glare from the lights on my glasses and it's just really bad I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, well, I'm trying. Okay, it says you cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure to fill your own before filling others. So this is just a little reminder from spirit to take care of yourself first. Obviously, it's different if you have children than you would, you know, um, Pour into your child's cup as often as you can. It's a little bit different when you have children. I know everyone's always like, oh, fill your own cup, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I definitely do try to fill my cup most of the day. But there's times when my children need things when they're sick or, you know, they have things going on in their lives. And so I have to make sure that I fill their cup, you know, at the same time as filling my cup. Because, you know, that's just, it's part of being a parent. So... But make sure that you're filling your cup up as much as you can, okay? Because it, it is really hard to to do anything to fill anyone's cup if yours isn't, isn't full. Even even I struggle with that as well. It's like, you know, I want to take care of my children when they're sick. But if I'm sick or not feeling well or my cup's not, not full, then I struggle to even do the simple task of taking care of them, you know, when they're sick, right? We get irritable, we get tired, whatever. 
All right, so make sure your cup is full. Your heart chakra is unbalanced. You may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak. Use this time to surround yourself with people that uplift you. So you may be experiencing some sort of a heartbreak. Now this is not going to resonate with everyone. So take the parts that resonate and then leave the ones that don't. There has been so many storylines coming out. So this might resonate with you. Parts of it might resonate with you. Some of it might not resonate with you. Some of it might. But... If your heart chakra is unbalanced, the fastest way to fix a broken heart is to focus on your heart chakra and do meditations for your heart chakra. And you can find lots of free meditations on YouTube. That's where I find all of mine when I meditate every single night. Okay, the love you've shown yourself has helped you establish healthy relationships in your life. If you know your worth, others will know it too. Now, this is absolutely so important. I cannot stress this. Everything starts with self-love. So people will mirror to you the way that you treat yourself. So it says the love you've shown yourself has helped you establish healthy relationships. So again, we have this two things about attracting healthy relationships. So you are doing pretty good as far as your self-love because you are attracting healthy relationships. Maybe in the past, you might have attracted people that were toxic, partners that were toxic. But of course, your twin flame is your mirror and they will mirror back exactly how you feel about yourself because they are you. They are your exact same soul, blue, energy, exact same blue, <laughs> I can't talk. They're your exact same blueprint, energy, soul, okay? You are the same soul, one is in a masculine energy, one is in a feminine energy, <laughs> or vice versa. It's not about gender. It's about how you perceive yourself and your energy. Are you more masculine? Are you more feminine? Because we both, we all, all genders have equal amounts of both. It just depends on which one you feed, right? And which one you identify with. Okay, so we're going to move on. We're going to do the love oracle. All right, what do we got for Pisces? Pisces, please, what do we got for Pisces? Pisces. Okay, what does Pisces need to know? Whoa, that flew Pisces. We have wedding. Oh, son of a biscuit. And I swear, I hope we don't see too much jiggle. I just took my bra off because it was hurting me. <laughs> I hope I have the camera up high enough that you're not seeing any jiggle. It's been a really long day and I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's like... I think it's only 8 p.m., but I'm exhausted. I've been up so early, and I am so tired. <laughs> it's been a day. And so many errands to run. Take my little guy to the pediatricians. And two more, please. So it's just been a really, really long day. Wow. So we have wedding. We have snake. We have date. So for some of you twin souls, it's it's the obvious. Like your person is going to take that next step. Maybe around Valentine's Day, <laughs> we have wedding. I mean, it doesn't say proposal. It says wedding. So for some of you, okay, so there's a few different storylines that we could go with. You could meet your person at a wedding. You could meet your twin soul at a wedding. Um, you know, you and your person could be taking that next step. Um, we have snake, and I know that sounds really ominous, but snake, as far as like the twin soul journey goes, the snake is a spirit totem animal. So it doesn't mean, you know, someone is being dishonest. What it means is there's a lot of different meanings, I guess, T too many to go into as far as like the spirit totem animal. 
but for some of you this this will be significant because you you will be seeing snakes often or um this is this could be the animal spirit animal that you and your twin soul share snakes also represent sexuality and sensuality so there's that aspect of it tying into the twin soul journey all right so we have date <laughs> so this is definitely a good thing to be looking forward to especially you know come coming up tomorrow is valentine's day and i am reading for you pisces on the day before valentine's day so it's february 13th tomorrow's valentine's day you know for some of you it literally you'll be going on a date with your person and it looks like it's gonna be a good one too <laughs> and then we have breakup so remember when i was doing um the the bodhi tarot and we picked up on a card of heartbreak, your heart chakra being unbalanced. For some of you, yes, you've had a recent breakup and that's why your heart chakra is unbalanced, but it's not the end of the world. Nothing happens to you, it only happens for you. So take this as a lesson or not even really a lesson. Take it as um, a step into learning that's going to put you on the right path does that make sense because nothing happens to us it happens for us okay all right and sometimes these lessons are necessary so that you can move forward in your journey all right we're going to go ahead and move on to the angel tarot for you the angel romance angels one second. Okay, sorry about that. All right, what do we got for Pisces, please? Can we get three cards for Pisces? Three cards for Pisces, please. What do they need to know? What is the most important things that they need to know about their twin soul journey right now? Besides the horrible lesson of heartbreak <laughs> i promise you it's not the end of the world i've been there okay we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so for some of you ooh, if you had a question as to whether or not this person was your is your twin soul the answer is yes all right forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So Spirit is asking you to let go of stuff that is unbalancing your heart chakra. Again, it's coming up again. It's coming up again. Excuse me. I have such bad heartburn right now. I should take it in acid. <laughs> um, it's very distracting. So spirit is saying it's it's coming up again. You need to release some things that are in the heart chakra so that you can one forgive. And forgiving doesn't necessarily mean forgetting. It means forgiving for you, not for the person. You don't even have to tell them you forgive them. You just have to do it so that you can move on. So that you can heal your heart so that your heart chakra will be open so that when your twin soul comes in you're ready you cannot fully love anyone not even yourself with a blocked heart chakra all of this resentment and anger and pain has to be released in order for you to fully love yourself and for you to move on with your life so that you can be happy okay we have Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. All right. Um, your union is divinely guided. You have angels here. You're being watched over constantly. You have a lot of angel guides which are with you. And if you've already met someone, I just spit. <laughs> if you've already met someone and they are very romantic, to me, that's going to be a key component as to how you will know that this is your person that you've met the one your twin soul 
because all coming off of this card there's an energy of romance like very very romantic <laughs> which is very nice for Pisces because Pisces you know is the most romantic sign of the zodiac they love romance like I see hand kissing and um, sweaters being draped over shoulders and are you cold and all of that stuff like doors being opened very chivalrous very romantic flowers chocolates that type of thing dancing in the kitchen all of that all right can we get one more card please two let's do two For some of you, the reason that you experience this heartbreak with this other person is because there's... I'm so sorry about the background noise. I already asked this person to be quiet and they're just being unbelievably rude. And I'm getting really irritated. Okay, unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So... You know, the past relationship that you had, it just, it didn't mesh. So you and your person just were not compatible attraction-wise. It has nothing to do with you. You know, sometimes it starts out, you think that there's something there. You guys are really, really attracted, blah, 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 um, to each other. And then people change, people grow. And when people change, people grow then sometimes people grow into separate ways. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's to make room for what is truly yours. You know, what, what's home, your person, right? And it looks like, honestly, like a divine feminine was the one, maybe she lost attraction for a divine masculine if you look the divine masculine's kissing her hand and she's kind of like eh <laughs> so one more Whoop, there's your last card we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so for some of you this card there's two different storylines again coming out this has been happening a lot pretty much with every sign so for those of you that we got the card that says this could be the one, remember I said something about romance, you'll know this person is your person because of how romantic they are. There it is. Look, romantic feelings. I told you, I told you I could feel it. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Exploring, And it says romantic feelings. Look, romance. Look at that. That's not romantic. I don't know what it is. Very passionate, very romantic, very fiery. It's like walking in the garden type romance, right? So we have some Pisces experiencing heartbreak, some Pisces who have met a romantic partner. Excuse me. I already did these cards for you, didn't I? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Dragon Tarot. Excuse me. And then we'll be ending with the Rumi Oracle. And we're going to call the Serena. All right. Four cards from the Dragon Tarot, please. Four Pisces. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. And thank you for helping our Pisces and their twin soul journey. <clears throat> All right. So you want me to shuffle one more time. And since they gave me two storylines, they'll probably end with the two storylines as well, just so you know. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with the fire sign, because I just got Queen of Pentacles. We also have Knight of Pentacles. So we have the energy of a divine feminine fire sign. Um, or not fire sign, I'm sorry, I said fire sign. I meant to say earth sign. Queen of Pentacles is Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles is Earth sign, male. Now the Knight of Pentacles, again, see, we have romance. The Knight of Pentacles is a very romantic um, knight. The Knight of Pentacles, knights in general in, in the tarot deck represent romance. 
but especially with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and the Knights of Cups, to me, are the most romantic knights in the tarot deck. Okay, so again, the energy of romance. This time, it's a divine masculine, possibly on the younger side, maybe a little bit younger than you. If you're a divine feminine, your um, divine masculine may be a little bit younger than you because the knights is kind of a young energy, youngish energy. I would say between the ages of um, maybe um, late 20s, early 30s, okay? The for okay for the divine masculines that are dealing with a earth sign female, she may be holding back a little bit of her feelings. I don't quite know why, but she's being wrapped up with a dragon who's sort of holding her back. So it feels to me like she's holding on to some feelings. Can we get two more cards, please? Nine of Pentacles. Whoa. And a seven of swords. All right. So I can't remember. I know I got these. In this dragon tarot, these cards mean something a little bit different than the other decks that I'm used to using. So I just want to go ahead and look at these really quick. I know I had the Seven of Swords recently, and I can't even remember what it was, what it said, honestly. It's so funny. But I'd rather look it up than to tell you something. Okay, so it says, Hope appears after a long struggle, but keep your guard up. Um, you face opposition to your plans, and, oh yeah, okay. So it says it'd be wise to learn the source of your opposition, Okay. But it's saying that there's something right now that's blocking your path, but, and usually with this card, it's a person, but they don't want you, it literally says, um, avoid direct confrontation, however, instead, let your ideas speak for themselves. So you don't want to directly confront this person because I feel like it won't go well. They just want you to go ahead and do your own thing and let yourself be an example, if that makes sense, okay? Okay. And then the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pencil Pentacles came out with the Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just some type of success. <laughs> it says, don't shut out your family and friends, however, because they have had to put up with your darker moods and have probably helped you through them much more than you know. <laughs> so, but it is, it says a substantial reward. So in regards to your love life, there is a reward coming up in your love life. I'm not even quite sure what that looks like. For me, the ultimate reward though would be your twin soul, correct? So this is the card of success. This is the card of you're on the right track as far as your journey goes, especially since, okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles, which is the card of romance, and it came out with this, which is like success and all that you do, and this is a reward. So the reward is your romance, right? Romance with your person. And also, you know, it talks about, you know, keeping communication lines open with your family members I don't know how that pertains to your twin soul journey I don't know maybe your family has not always been supportive of your journey and whatnot hold on one second okay I'm so sorry about that Pisces I am incredibly frustrated <laughs> I'm so tired of like repeating myself over and over again I literally said I'm working I'm almost done I'm making a video and asked the person that I live with to not be noisy and then they just continue to make so much noise which you know as a channeler like trying to focus on messages that are coming in from spirit guides and stuff it's very hard to stay in in the in 
the moment and present when there's background noise, when there's things going on. And like, I already told this person once, like I'm working, I'm almost done. You know, I only have the Rumi Oracle to read. That's it. Um, one more card. And I'm on the last spread and could just be quiet and, you know, go into a different room for a minute until I'm done because this person was at work anyways. And then he comes home and he's being so loud and I'm like, you know, I, I should only have to say it once. Like, I don't come to your job and bother you, but you want to come and like interfere when I'm doing stuff. And it wouldn't be so frustrating if I hadn't have just asked this person once, like, please be quiet. I'm trying to do this. I'm almost done. And then for him to continuously make noise, it's like, it's so disrespectful and it's so frustrating. And not only that, it's disrespectful. Like, I should only have to ask you once, like, stop what you're doing. It's just some people just don't understand boundaries and it's absolutely frustrating. And now I completely don't even remember where I was as far as your reading goes, which frustrates the shits out of me. All right. So we talked about the reward. I don't even remember. <laughs> and now your reading is going to be completely screwed up because people don't know how to be respectful. Oh, okay. And so they talked about, so for the ones that are experiencing heartbreak, you do have, that is a setback. Yes. In your, in your twin soul journey. Um, it's, it, it would be considered an opposition. Okay. But make sure that if there's someone in your life that is holding you back and causing opposition, yeah, that it is okay to go ahead and cut out toxic people from your life. <laughs> notice I was just pointing at the door there <laughs> yeah we all have opposition obviously <laughs> um and some people just want to drag you down they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you succeed because if they're not succeeding if they're not following their dreams and they just they don't want to see you succeed in yours as well and that's just a, a crock of shiz if you ask me like you know people should just be brave enough to follow their dreams you know, not everyone wants to work a blue collar job all day and bust their butt for $12 an hour for 12 hours a day, right? <laughs> so, you know, if they're not supportive of what you're doing, it's okay to cut them out of your life or to minimize their energy influx into your life, okay? Because this card talks about someone foiling your plans, someone trying to interfere, um, and Spirit, you know, was saying that you have to find out who this person is or, you know, it could even be a family member. I don't know. It, it feels like someone that you're close to, though. And not directly confront them because, you know, it might not end well. But to basically set energetic boundaries and physical boundaries with this person so they cannot interfere in your plans. Because, look, you have all of this good stuff coming. So do not let anyone derail you. Okay, we're done with that one. We're going to go to your final card, which is from the Rumi Oracle. Ain't nobody going to keep me down. And ain't nobody should keep you down either, Pisces. <laughs> you got this. I don't even care if I'm coming across as a bitch. Like, I put up with so much sometimes. And it's just ridiculous. It's just common courtesy and respect. It's a respect thing. I don't care what anybody thinks. Like, you should only have to tell someone one time if you're doing something and they should just respect what it is that you're trying to do. You shouldn't have to repeat yourself. And if you do, then they don't respect you at all. They don't respect your boundaries. And that's exactly why I'm moving out, like, ASAP. Because I just, I cannot live in a home with someone... Whether I'm co-parenting with them or not, that has so lack of disres so lack of respect, and you know is completely disrespectful of boundaries that I set consistently. You know certain things. And you think it would be self-explanatory, right? Ooh, I don't even know which one to take. They gave you two. Let me see. 
We're going to do this one, the courage of your love. The dissolving lights is another one that keeps coming out for each of the signs. And it did come out for you as well. But I'm going to read this one because this one came out too. The courage of your love. It's number 38. And I'm sorry, your reading is literally 30 minutes long now because I just ranted and raved and it's so long. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm so sorry. I can't stand people sometimes. This is why I don't socialize. <laughs> this is why I don't like to leave my house because I have no patience for people. I've done too much work on myself and I just don't have time for people who are not self-aware enough to even have the basics of respect out. I just don't. Okay. Love is without reason. Rationality is like a cane. Judgment needs a cane because it is blind. When love arrives, thought dies in its shadow. Love is the sunrise, while thought is only a flashing light. I do not bleed at you like a sheep, for to startle you from your slumber, I need to roar like a lion. You must awake, my beloved. There is no time to waste, for the wolves are circling, hungry for sacred flesh. So I shall roar mightily, and although at first you recoil in fear, soon enough you will see the wolves. You become aware and grateful to have been thus awoken. Ah, yes, you remember that you have a precious human life to protect. You fear me no more. You thank me. You jump on my back as if you were a warrior, astride a wild mount. You roar then along with me, awakening the others as we cause the ground to rumble, disturbing those even in their deepest slumber. You, like me, are a fierce lion, not a lamb to be led to so many slaughters. The variety of an opportunity for which is available in terrible abundance in our world. This is true. There's a lot of sheep around here. <laughs> and by sheep, I mean people. <clears throat> oh, wait. I skipped a page. All right, well, I guess we're going to end there. I was going to read some more, but that was the end of the message there. All right, we'll take this here too. You are an ancient one with a heart older than the mountains. You are being asked to free yourself from the two small loves of the youthful hearts and come to understand and accept the wisdom. So it is time to put those little school crushes away and go forward with the longing of your mature heart. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. I'm sorry it's so long. It was It's actually so long. It cut off and went into two files. So I'm actually going to have to splice this into two videos because we're not going to go there. All right. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, go ahead and click in the description box below. All of my readings are half off for the month of love all the way until March. I love you, Pisces.